Higadge, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering from WIT Solapur. Topic for today's session is Relative Velocity. And learning outcome of this session, at the end of this session, learner will be able to determine the relative velocity of moving body with respect to other moving body. Let us uh, see it diagrammatically. Here there is a vehicle A moving with a velocity 60 km per hour. On the parallel track, vehicle B is there moving with the same velocity 60 km per hour. As the velocity of both the vehicle is same, so after time t they will reach at a uh, same position and the observer in a vehicle A will think that B is not moving or it is at a rest position. Same here observer in a B will think that, that uh, car A is not moving, it is at a same position. So, according to the observer, relative, uh, relative velocity of both the car is 0. So, here the difference between velocity and um, the relative velocity is that when we are talking about relate, uh, velocity only in that observer is a stationary and when we are talking about the relative velocity in that observer is also uh, having some velocity. Now, in second case, um, increase the speed of car uh, B, uh, keep it little faster than the car A. So, let um, uh, speed of car A is uh, 60 km per hour and the velocity of car B is 70 km per hour. So, after time t, the um, car B will cover some, um, some distance more than the car A. So, the observer uh, in car A will think that, that um, car B is moving with a very slow speed that is um, 10 km per hour and the observer in a car B will think that the car A is moving in a reverse direction. So, according to B, the velocity of A is minus 10 km per hour and according to A, uh, the velocity of uh, B is 10 km per hour. Now, we will discuss the motion on parallel path in opposite direction. Here, car A and car B are moving parallelly, but in opposite direction. Say, the velocity of car A is 60 km per hour and velocity of car B is 30 km per hour. When the um, this two car will pass each other at the time interval t, they feel that the opposite car is moving very fast. So, according to the um, observer in a car A, the uh, relative velocity of car B is 90 km per hour. Same according to B, the velocity of car A is 90 km per hour. So, here there is an addition of two velocity. Now, we will discuss now the motion in a plane in any direction, but in a one plane. Now, we will um, only consider the direction of velocity and find out the component of velocity in x direction and the y direction. So, uh, how we resolve the force, similar way you resolve the velocity and find out the velocity component in x direction and the y direction. Now, we will first find out the velocity of A with respect to B. So, first find out the relative velocity component in x direction. In x direction, there are two component V A x and V B x. So, V A x and V B x, both the velocity component are moving in the same direction. So, the relative velocity is the subtraction of these two velocity because we have seen uh, the same case in a uh, motion in a uh, parallel track in like direction. In y direction, there are two velocity component um, V A y and V B y. They are exactly acting opposite to each other. So, there is the addition of these two component V A y plus V B y. It is the um, relative velocity component in y direction. So, the uh, relative velocity is under root of v r x square plus v r y square. Same way, the velocity of b with respect to a is also under root of v r x square plus v r y square. But here, v r x 
or V R Y value may different. Now you pause the video here, uh, think and answer the question. For the calculation of relative velocity of V with respect to A, what will be the relative velocity component in X and Y direction? So, this is your figure, you refer the figure and calculate the relative velocity component in X and Y direction. We will see one by one. The, uh, in option uh, A, it is given that V R X is equal to V A X minus V B X. It is a relative velocity of A with respect to B, but is in question it is asked that we have to find out B with respect to A. So, this is not a correct option. So, V R X is equal to V B X minus V X, it is the correct option and um, V R Y is equal to V A Y plus V B Y. So, here Y components are opposite in direction, so um, there must be an addition of this component. So, this is also correct. So, both uh, V R X and V R Y shown correct in uh, uh, option B. So, uh, B is correct option. We uh, will see third option also. V R X is equal to V A X plus V B X. So, this is what uh, how we calculate the resultant. When the forces are acting in same direction, we generally do the addition. So, for the calculation of resultant, we uh, follow the calculation uh, as per the option uh, C. And um, vertical components are exactly opposite in direction, so there is a subtraction. Um, so, but it, it, is, it is not a uh, resultant force calculation. Now, we will solve one uh, numerical here. In the uh, numerical, uh, the two vehicle are um, uh, moving uh, from the same point uh, at the same time with the velocity V A is given 30 kilometer per hour and V B is given 40 kilometer per hour and inclination uh, with Y direction is given 30 degree and 45 degree. So, two vehicle move from same point at the same time as shown in figure, determine the relative velocity of A with respect to B and the distance between them after half an hour. So, we will um, uh, find the solution. So, here two velocities are there uh, in any direction. So, we, we know that we have to find out the component of the, uh, that velocity in x and y direction and inclination is given 30 degree with vertical. So, vertical component will be uh, 30 cos 30 and horizontal component will be 30 sin 30. Similarly, find out the uh, uh, horizontal and vertical component for the V B. Uh, for that angle is given 45 degree with the vertical. So, vertical component will be 40 cos 45 and horizontal component will be 40 sin 45. Now, we will continue with the same figure. We have to determine the relative velocity of A with respect to B. So, first calculate relative velocity component in x direction. So, see here in x direction there are two uh, velocities V B x and V A x. So, here we have to det uh, determine velocity of A with respect to B. So, uh, V A x minus V B x this is the uh, th this will be our formula. So, 30 sin 30 minus 40 sin 45. Uh, it, it will give you minus 13.284 kilometer per hour. So, uh, it is obviously if, if you calculate 40 sin 45, it is approximate 28.28 uh, kilometer per hour and if you check the 30 sin 30, it is 15 kilometer per hour. So, velocity of B is more as compared to velocity of A. Uh, according to B, it, is, uh, it must be in a reverse direction. So, it is minus 13.284 kilometer per hour. Now, calculate relative velocity component in y direction. In y direction, there are two velocities 30 cos 30 and 40 cos 45. They are in exactly opposite direction. So, we have to do this uh, addition of this two velocity. It is 54.265 kilometer per hour. Now, uh, put V R X and V R Y in, uh, in the formula of relative velocity. It is under root of V R X square plus V R Y square. Uh, similar to resultant formula. Calculate relative velocity of A with respect to B. 
uh, it uh, it will be 55.867 kilometer per hour now uh, draw the vector diagram so vrx is minus 13.284 means um, yeah, it is moving in reverse direction so um, in vector diagram we have to show the direction also and uh, with respect to b vehicle a is moving in opposite direction so this is the opposite direction with respect to b that is 54.264 so it is vertical component and this is the horizontal component and the resultant velocity of a is 55.86 km per hour so this is called as the relative velocity of a with respect to b similarly uh, vector diagram of um, relative velocity of b with respect to a also uh, uh, you can draw here Cal uh, all the calculation will be same only the change will be that uh, you will get vrx is plus 13.284 so plus 13.4 means in in the direction of velocity so uh, uh, this is the direction of the velocity um, in x direction and with respect to a b is moving in opposite direction so this is the vertical uh, direction of velocity and uh, as per the vector diagram we join the first point and second point and from first point to second point will indicate the direction of the relative velocity so this will be the vector diagram for the relative velocity of b car with respect to a uh, in the same question there is one more question find the relative distance of vehicle a with respect to b after half an hour and um, uh, it is very simple that the distance is equal to velocity into time so we have calculated the relative velocity that is 55.867 km per hour and time is given half an hour so you will get the relative distance of a with respect to b is 27.933 km uh, these are my references thank you very much